Hey guys, let's talk about something that confuses just about everyone, ATARs and the scaling system. How does it all work? How should you think about choosing your subjects? And more importantly, what does it mean for your results? Well, in this video, I'm going to break it all down for you, how the scaling system works, why it exists, and what it means for your subject choices or your study strategy. This info is super important for making sure that you're making smart decisions and staying ahead of the game. In some subjects, it's virtually impossible to get those really top marks and only a small percentage of students are actually able to. Whereas in other subjects, if you think about things like art, music, design and technology, these subjects might attract students who are already keenly interested or talented in that area and therefore might have an easier time getting high marks in that subject while maybe performing not quite as well in some of their other subjects. But here's the thing. Scaling isn't about rewarding hard subjects or punishing so-called easy subjects. It's just about leveling the playing field. Now, this leads me on to one of the biggest myths that exists around the scaling system. If you pick a subject that scales up, say specialist maths or languages, you'll automatically get a better ATAR. Whereas if you pick a subject that scales down, like arts or music, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. This is completely false. Scaling doesn't determine your results, your performance does. My advice, and this is backed by VCAR, is to choose subjects that you actually enjoy and that you feel align with your strengths. You will perform the best you can and you will get the highest marks you can if you're studying something that you're genuinely interested in. 